So, okay, back at Shadowrun, after over two months. We skipped Pride Month, we skipped the, the month after, did nothing, and we're here with half the team. Scheduling is a fuck, in other words. Oh, yeah, it is. It absolutely is. Welcome to the uh, to the basis D and D experience. It's not even D and D. I know, but that's what I call it. So yeah, fucking so... TTRPG, whatever. Get off no. my ass. So today we only have McNuts and the Bullet. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the others over to the side here. So we sp we're splitting the party, which is of course. You always a good idea the number one it's advice, the best idea the number one advice in tabletop games always split the party <laughs> exactly that's what you gotta do it's like in the rules or something yeah. and if gun bunny shows up well we have gun bunny slayer so that works yep all right so uh last time you went into an old bunker near seattle which turned out to be the um, command site for a uh, kill satellite from like 40 plus years ago. It was like an Ares thing, right? It was. Yes. I, I'm pretty, yeah, it Something was, back from the Euro Wars, I believe. Yes, it was an, yes, it was, uh, an Ares Thor shot. Launched yeah. just after the end of the Euro Wars in anticipation of the next one. Because, you know, that's how that works. Every I'd be years. prepared. Every mm -hmm. um, it was designated EAJ3. For X asterisk to uh, judicium or from the stars judgment, because Harry <laughs> is not subtle. Nope, Harry's never was, never will be. So, um, since you are homeless people, you don't really know details about this. You just know that this is bad news. Because, well, it's a heavily armed satellite in low Earth orbit. It's not good. I don't know what this is, but it's bad. Voices in my head are telling me so. You also know, you also know that it could wipe out half the city if me if it wants to, easily, with one shot. Oh right yeah, now. it has. Our been... resident sad sack told us so, yes. and then he disappeared for two months. <laughs> well, that's why he was sad. Funny how that works, huh? Yep. So, um, <laughs> so we're starting kind of at that point, maybe a minute, a few minutes after. Kevin, having told you all of that decided to take Doc Ripper and go back to Rochi to maybe alert the authorities or something. Because obviously you are no way equipped to handle this shit. Uh, McNuts and the Bullet, of course, don't buy that for a second. Of course you're equipped for this shit. You're the heroes of this story. Exactly. I could definitely do this before breakfast most days. Seriously. <laughs> remember, when you play, remember when you played in the process with nothing. Kill set, pff, fuck it. Throw a ball at it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's my plan. I'm gonna yeah. throw a ball really, really well at it. So, since we really only, hard. Since we only have half the team, I uh, we'll see how we do the story. I have to condense some things because, quite frankly, your two characters are not smart. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you insult yeah. Magnus in such ways? <laughs> he shall throw coke rat at you. They are just not. You have maybe like three brain cells between the two of you. <laughs> And we're not sharing. And I'm rounding up. <laughs> no, 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 no. The bullet does have two brain cells. They're just not on speaking terms. Anyway, um, <laughs> Kevin and Doc Ripper went outside again to Rochi, being super worried, and they explicitly told to. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> sorry, I forgot to breathe there. <clears throat> uh, I you do better that too be sorry. Sometimes. Eh, overrated. <clears throat> they told you to stay put. And don't touch anything. Naturally, you begin to wander off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like... So I was going to say, all right, all right. What are we touching now? Yeah, you just... well, what looks uh, especially touchable? Please, we need to know. Well, at the moment, you are in a, in a hallway that has seen better days. It was obviously, it was obviously built to withstand like heavy impacts from weapons fire and stuff and to be hermetically sealed and there's you would guess uh at least make nuts from being a bona fide conspiracy theorist yeah there is most likely uh like a live-in bunker attached to this with like living quarters and a cafeteria and like lots of storage stuff all we gotta do is find it 
Like this is this is pretty much a doomsday bunker, right? All we gotta do is find it, and we'll have all the canned beans we can eat. <laughs> oh yeah, we're go we'll be eating like kings Priority. with the good, Priority. the good beans too. Priority. Yeah, these straight. The ones that only taste a little bit like rat on human skin. Yeah, if we're if we're really lucky, we might have lima beans. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The like king that. of all beans. <laughs> Let's forget that weird rabbit guy and just go search for the beans. So thinking about them beans. Um, like I said, <laughs> the uh, the hallway branches off after a while into two different areas. And uh, you can see, I, I can actually make a little sketch. I don't like these areas. They're too different. I'll, I'll make a little sketch for it. You get it? There's two different areas. Yes, we get it. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to acknowledge it because. I'm funny. I swear. Yeah, it just it just encourages you, and that's not good. No, 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 no. I I, I agree. You're funny. Like, uh, but also aw. know that my sense of humor is not good. Yes. <laughs> Basically, the hallway just branches off into two, and uh, there are doors lining either side, staggered like this. I'm not going to draw the rest, because fuck this. <laughs> but so you know, you know what I mean. You know what we must do. What? Split up again! Again, there are like there are nondescript doors with just numbers next to them. The, the ones that are still visible, most of them are like scratched away by years of well, just, um, uh, fuck, what's the word? Not erosion. Um, Use? Neglect? Wear and tear? Neglect, yeah. yeah, neglect. Neglect. And uh, yeah. there, are no, there are no windows, they're solid doors made of metal, again, to withstand some force. So if you want to, like, try some of them, feel free to do so. Let's open some doors. Let's open some motherfucking doors. Nag Notch will slink on over to uh, to one of them like he's the goddamn Grinch in that one live action remake. He will listen to the door closely. He will creep up on it, and he will grab the handle. The yeah, the old timey handle. Like there are no electronics on these doors, by the way. It's just. Like uh, a key lock, and that's it. Like very old school, uh, made to last through a time without electricity and civilization, and etc. etc. Don't touch these handles; they'll steal your fingerprints. <laughs> they might. <clears throat> I don't got no fingerprints anymore. Yeah. I had <laughs> to sell them. Yeah. <laughs> they don't show um, signs of neglect, uh, metal fatigue, stuff like this. Stuff like that. Um, there's dust. Actually, there is surprisingly little dust. Because this place was sealed. There's nothing that could bring dust in. I don't trust this. They still serve, uh, They still order room service. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, if you want to try and open the door, you can. Yeah, Mike Nuts is going to try and open the door. It uh, opens really easily. Despite its obvious weight. And interested. Obviously, we're just really, really, really strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, obviously. The uh, room behind it is unlit. But as you open the door, uh, like a wave of stale air wa uh, waves ac uh, across you. Across you? Um, yeah, 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 close enough. Something like that. Some, some word. It checks out. Some word. Just a wave of stale air. It uh, it has no real smell. It's just oldness. It's like a stale fart that has long lost its its flavor. <laughs> close. Uh, I'm sure there had to be a better word than flavor. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. Mmm, <laughs> old fart smell. Anyway. Yeah, uh, like, I said, robot. like I said, the um the room is uh not lit and you can't tell what's in it. 
just that it hasn't been opened in quite a while. And not ventilated. The bullet! Use your cyber enhancements to light up this area. I will uh, rummage around in my backpack, pull out a flashlight. Uh, when I flick it on, nothing happens. I bang it a few times against the wall, and it flickers uh, I, into a dim light. I was expecting one of those <laughs> flashlights you have to crank, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh my god. But this is fine, too. Um, <clears throat> the dim light of the flashlight reveals a number of bunk beds. Double beds. And uh, a corresponding amount of lockers on the wall. Uh, Time to go looting. Yeah, just by, by estimation, you would think this room can fit like two dozen people. But not like comfortably just you know i mean comparatively to how we've been living the height of luxury Pretty much. yeah mcnuts is gonna go rifling through those lockers uh same uh they are empty except for some leaflets leaflets let's pick them up these must be important they're not they're absolutely the most important thing in this entire adventure. They are 40-year-old uh, forty year old ads for, to join Ares. With, like, a really old-timey Ares logo and, like, an, re a really obnoxious, like, cartoon uh, eagle as a mascot. <gasps> this propaganda. It has been brainwashing everyone. And now they're getting... They're, they're, they're stealing people off the street. Getting them to join Ares, where they'll slowly be turned into cartoon characters. It's even more serious than I thought. <laughs> it also has, like, the eagle has all the answers. It has like it. It has basically ads for the newest technology, like uh, equip our newest equip our newest VR tech, and see the world <laughs> like no one else has ever seen it. <laughs> And it's someone with an Oculus Quest on doing okay, a thumbs okay. up. Imagine, imagine like the the advertisement for the um, that one Nintendo VR thing from the eighties. Oh, the Virtual <laughs> Boy. The virtual Boy. Yeah. <laughs> like we're talking that level of quality is what we're talking about here. Oh, perfect! It all makes sense now, says McNuts, pocketing the uh, the leaflets. It's all coming together. I think I figured it out. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, if I hadn't sold my cork board and string for this rat. Wait, what? You bought the rat? No. <laughs> no one would be silly enough to buy something you can just pick up off of the street. You know, the, the rats in the park are free. You can take them home. Stop accusing me! <laughs> yeah, legally they can't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> they might try, though. Don't risk it. <laughs> All right. Um, there is another door leading out of the room, presumably back into another hallway. Yes. Uh, let's see what's in that hallway. Yeah. We take this. We take this door. We go into this hallway. Yeah. It, it's just a continuation of the earlier hallway. This place is obviously set up in a way that you can enter and leave rooms. Like from multiple vectors, multiple exits. Uh -huh. As a like, you know, an obvious safety feature in case of fire or mutiny, or mutineers on fire. <laughs> it happens. Or fire, uh, or or fire committing mutiny. Yeah, sentient yeah. Fire, that's what you really have to look out for. Sentient fire. You never know what happens in the post-apocalypse. You have to be. Prepared. You never do. Uh, there are again. The hallway is still lined with even more doors. They are. They look as boring as the as the first door, and as used. They again have Michael. no. They, they again have no description. Just numbers and letters, which presumably, the people who are supposed to be here would know, but you don't. Yeah, they mean something to somebody. We're just not somebody. 
frame. Magnat will find a pencil somewhere in his pockets, in his various pockets, and start writing down the numbers of the rooms they've gone through, making a little bit of a map that way. You know, normally I wouldn't ask, but what are you writing on? The red? One of the pamphlets. Okay. Yeah. It could have been the red, for all I know. Also, question, what are you writing with? A pen. You don't want to know where it's been, though. Understandable. <laughs> you, can find, <laughs> you can find pens even in future Seattle, surely? Next, this is surely. Yeah, they're stored inside of rats. Yeah. So, uh, let's exactly. Assume, yeah, let's assume you just write down the numbers and the letters so you know where yeah. the door is. Are you trying exactly. more, Are you trying out more doors? Yes, absolutely. We're trying doors until something happens. Right. You find um, an office empty. We go through the doors, obviously. All yeah. Empty. All empty. It, uh, it seems to be an office that was meant to be set up in the future for, like, Let's say an incoming official or something, maybe? Oh man, so it doesn't even have any any swag anywhere? Not no. even any like keys for a quest? No, it's just an empty Lame. room. Has the background changed in there? Is this a safe room? <laughs> <laughs> the music has changed. And suddenly, oh no. Suddenly, has it become how intense has it become? Suddenly do you see a typewriter? Ready to be I tools. knew it. No, no, no. It's not a safe room. <laughs> this is a modern game. We only have auto saves and they save to the cloud. So if you're not online, God damn it. Fuck. I don't trust the cloud. It beams sure. information into my brain. <laughs> Magnat's, of course, talking about actual clouds in the sky. Yes, I, I was going to say. The ones that are literally watching him with those weird eyeballs yeah. they've got in the middle of them. Uh, anyway, let's, let's um, skip ahead a bit. You find a lot of essentially empty, unused rooms that are ready for occupants. Like the another bunk bed thing that just needs covers and pillows, basically. A couple more empty offices. Like, this place was set up for business, just in case. But nobody ever used it. And uh, mm. let's say about 20 minutes of rummaging, okay? Yeah. You find another office, this time one that looks used. Ho ho! We've some, oh, we found something oh, occupied. What's in this one? I need. We need to. We need to go through these these drawers. Okay. Daddy me, needs just, a new pencil. Let me set up the scene real quick. You uh you enter the small room. It's rectangular. It's not big. It's like three by three meters at most. I'm not going to tell you how much that is, mate. <laughs> um, there's a desk uh, with a bunch of documents strewn across it. A, uh, a template with nameplate, which we come to in a moment. Oh. And a bunch of uh, half-open drawers. Also, a, ve a very cheap copy of a landscape picture on the wall. You've seen that yes. one. It's in, like, every second motel. Mm. In this case, it's a ship. Magnat glares at the ship and does the little I'm watching you uh, double point with his fingers between his yeah, eyes. Yeah, I don't trust ship. that ship either. It also... has a real shifty look to it. There's also a... Uh... A plant in one of the corners, obviously artificial, because quite frankly, there's more dust there than plant. But it's still Magnet. green. It's still green underneath. Magnet will rush over to it and grab it by the, uh, by the stem and go. What do you know? You shake the dust off. It's making you sleazy. Ugh! Biological attack! No. <laughs> so the plant's ready to play hardball. I see. <laughs> We must respond in kind. Roll for initiative now. <laughs> <laughs> it would fucking look like these two chuckle fucks to get beaten by a plastic plant. Yeah, I would. Yeah, my yeah. money's on the plant. Oh, mine Me too. too. Mine, mine, too. Too. mine too. So yeah, um, the, the office has been used, but it doesn't look like by the one who's necessarily meant to use it. So if you want to like check the desk, it's my 
my hint here. Time yeah. to take the desk. I was going to look at the name tag. The name tag. Uh, was empty, but someone, like, <clears throat> someone pried le like random letters off the walls and doors to mm -hmm. make make a name. What is it? It says CRISPR. Oh. C R I S P R. Ooh. Although the R is the wrong way around. <laughs> which of course. which is odd because <laughs> you haven't seen any any R that was the wrong way around anywhere. It's the damn it's, Rus it's the damn Russians again. Apparently the Russians, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this crispy ya? You know, it's it's like the Toys R Us hour. Yep. It's like it's like that damn Toys Ya Us conspiracy all over again. <laughs> it's the commies! The commies are here for us! Like I said, oh, so Finally the, about time. The name so the nameplate is self made. It's a self-made man. Don't don't hate on it just because yeah, no, it's I'm, good I'm, success. I'm not. There are a bunch of uh, documents on the desk. Some scribbled upon, some uh, crumpled up, and just tossed aside. A fairly large number, actually, of crumpled up documents on like the side of the desk and on the floor and inside a half-broken uh, paper bin. Nagnats is going to start rifling through those uh, those documents and see what they pertain to. Um, most of them are, at least to Magnats, gibberish. Are there Might any, as well uh, have been in Russian. Nick are there any types of uh, knickknacks on the shelves? Uh, yeah, let's say there is. Um, there's there's a little there are some trophies there. What for? Uh, they seem... They, they seem like school trophies. Like something a kid would get. Uh, or like, or do like they running, have... Or like finishing a marathon or something. They all have different names on them. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. But they appear to be like... Not quite sports trophies. At least they don't look like it. They look like, like science rewards or something. Like something you would win at like a school science fair. For small kids. Mm. Yeah, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> uh, these but... aren't good. These aren't real trophies. <laughs> I've I seen plenty of real. I've seen plenty of real trophies. Been given plenty of real trophies. <laughs> From afar. But uh, back to the documents. Uh, like I said, they contain to make nuts basically gibberish. It, it appears to be like scientific formulas, either math or chemistry, maybe physics, but it, it might as well be a different language. You can't make heads or tails out of it. Uh, this again. The government's been trying to brainwash me with math ever since I was five years old. This is uh, this is the kind of stuff that McNutt sees in his dreams and nightmares. Absolutely. That's why I never do math. <laughs> never do math. Hate yeah. my words. Not need, even once. You don't need math in professional sports, surely. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> McNutt's terrified and enraged by these documents will pocket them like he does anything that terrifies and enrages him. Yeah. There's a uh, one of the documents that you un that is not crumpled. It oh. has a bunch of names on it. Ooh. Uh, mostly struck out. <coughs> it's like it, it it says stuff like honestly it feels like someone was trying to name a theme park. God damn it. Like it says like stuff like Science Land. The Sciensorium. The uh fuck me, I just missed the word. <laughs> the, stel the Stellarium. Shit like that. <laughs> Absolutely the terrible names. The amazing Kemi Bubble. This is, oh my god. <laughs> what is this Disney then it, bullshit? It, then it veers into like mythical things. Like at one point that whoever wrote this wrote down hmm, Atlantis? Question mark. No, struck through. 
Disneyland Universe? Mm, no, struck through. <laughs> Uh, in the end, the last word that isn't stuck through just says uh, Omelas. O M E L A S. All right. All right. Which seems All right. to be. It seems to have stuck. Or maybe the person who wrote it just lost interest. It's hard to say. 50 50 chance. Probably, yeah. Maybe less. Make nuts will. Wait, so did this Squint person walk eyes. away from Omelas? I'm sorry, what? So, in other words, uh, they did, in fact, walk away from Omelas and never returned? <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't get it. Like in character uh, it's a or... short story. Oh, okay. Oh, like in character or out of character is what I wanted to ask. Both. Oh, um... I mean, I, can, I could explain it out of character if you want to. I would it's a it. short story by Ursula K. Le Guin. And I highly recommend reading it. Yeah, um, the, oh. the the broad the broad story is um, there is a there is a city, a city state called Omelas, where it, basically everyone lives in peace, is well fed, never gets sick, basically almost never dies. It's paradise. Everything's like however, yeah. However, for that thing to work, a single child has to be tortured and kept in poverty and despair for all their life until they die, and then you have to replace the kid. Wow. The people who find out... Uh, which is, like, everybody... Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a coming-of-age thing exactly. is exactly. to be introduced to this child. Yeah. Most of them stay... Oh, so that's where Doctor Who got the idea. Yeah, most of them stay. Some walk away. Those are the ones who walk away from Omelas, from Paradise. That's the reason why. It's um, it's disturbing, right? As a kind of concept, but we'll get like to why. So anyway, uh, McNuts wouldn't know that. I don't know if the bullet knows it, although it wouldn't surprise me to be honest. Honestly, no. yeah, the bullet is well read. <laughs> yeah, because obviously he was a pro athlete. He read most of his time, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> just sitting on the sidelines, just reading his book. Can I go in there, yeah. coach? No? Okay, okay, just keep reading. Just tell me when. <laughs> that would actually be a fuck, a fun as fuck background story for for like a really brainy character. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, those are the documents. The rest is just a scientific gobbledygook. It may make sense. It may be brilliant. We have no way of knowing. Either way, Magnus is going to pocket it all because it's guy. It's documents. It's important documents. It's going on his on his it wall of matter. matters that he right. traded could away matter. for coke. Right. It could matter one of these days. It could be, it could, exactly. It could also be the insane ramblings of a syphilitic mind. Who knows? It's just hard to say. Uh, Either way, it's going to make sense to Magnus eventually. But that's actually a good point. Yeah, <laughs> he will crack the exactly. code, and if not, he will make up a code to crack it. Exactly. So yeah, that was the um, the used office by uh, apparently this uh, fellow named Crisper. Or maybe he just uh, likes crisps. Maybe he does like maybe he just likes crisps and also like not is going to the cold pronounce... shit. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, Magnus is going to keep pronouncing it as crispy ya because he's a goddamn idiot. Crispy ya. Crispy ya. Crispy R. Crispy R. Uh, yeah, what you can see, however, now that you actually looked into the office, there are a set of footprints. Oh. Clearly visible in, uh, like, well, what little dust there is. Hmm. Magnat whirls around as he points down at them. Yeah, intruder! But you would Wait. Intruder. Aren't we the intruder? Yeah. Wait. Ah, owner. Inhabitant. Oh no, that's even worse. <laughs> <clears throat> so do you just follow them, or are you yeah, sure. careful? We've got nothing no, to do. <laughs> I mean, we've never been careful in our entire lives. Yeah. Why stop now? Well, you come to a dead end and what appears to be uh, a large um, two-pronged door 
that looks a bit like um, 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 an elevator door. When I say a bit, I mean it is an elevator door. Looks like <laughs> it. it looks a whole lot like an elevator door yeah, then. But, yeah, because it is one. Uh, that's Wait, that's shit. Works. Exactly. Um, there is a, there's a control panel nearby. Very old-timey buttons. In fact, there are only like three of them. One for each floor. Including the one Does any one. of them look recently pressed? Uh, yes, number three. Magnus will point at it. Floor. This one's suppressed! I'm sure it's just having a rough day, but yes. <laughs> Shit. But I mean, aren't we all sometimes? My fucking god, if this was animated, I'm fairly certain that my nuts pointing at the screen going, This one's, uh, this one's depressed! Aww. Would become Aww. a fucking meme. meme. I mean, but yeah. same, but also. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you have, th you have, uh, you have three buttons there. You can press two of them. I mean, you could press the third one, but you're literally on the floor already, so... You know. Magnats will press the one that has been recently pressed. Number three. Wait, that's the floor we're on currently, right? No, you're on floor number oh. one. Oh, okay. Um, Sorry, I thought I misheard you. Uh, we can make this actually easier and, and say they, have like ne they are like negatively numbered. Like you're on my no, that just complicates uh, matters more. Fair enough. Magnus is too insane to understand that. I'm too <laughs> tired. <laughs> Magnus doesn't doesn't believe in negative numbers. It's a government exactly. It's a government conspiracy. Yeah, you are mm. the button for the floor you are on. Obviously, doesn't fucking work because duh. It does nothing. If anything, it opens the doors. Little thing. Yeah. So. Press it. We're gonna press the uh, the, the the goddamn to the third floor. We go. Yeah. Let's say for for simplicity's sake, you enter the elevator, then you press the button, and you yes. you go down slowly. No elevator music. In fact, just eerily quiet. Just After there. a little while of like popping his lips and standing there, tilting back and forth on his heels and toes, Magnus is gonna go. Uh, the bullet will try to join in on this, but probably do a terrible job. <laughs> the two of them end up in a beautiful, not quite harmony with each other. With the bullet Are going these... high and Magnus going low. No, no, no. They're going to be in like perfect harmony. It's just not a good tune. <laughs> The elevator, yeah. the elevator slowly, but uh, very reliably, apparently, uh, goes downwards. You hear no creaking. You hear no, no whining of the cables. It's just like it's brand new and freshly installed. I don't like mm. this. This is suspicious. I'm gonna write it down. After about a minute of very quiet. Um, a very quiet uh, drive down. No, do elevators drive? Uh, they go down. I mean, you could use the word drive, I suppose. I guess. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, anyway. I mean, it doesn't feel right, but also I don't know what would uh, be right. Me neither. How about trip? Maybe. Uh, anyway. Like a trip or a journey or a, I don't know, journey elevation down. down? The elevator journeys down. And after like a minute and a half of very slowly descending, it stops, and the door opens with a small, with a little ding. And you stand. We are very far underground. And you stand in. Well, on one hand, it's yet another hallway. But on the other, it appears to be a hallway made for giants. Magnus doesn't like this. Magnus is going back in the uh, in the elevator. The ceiling is back where it's back safe. In the elevator. <laughs> you drive back up. No. <laughs> He's just standing inside of it, hiding behind the uh, uh, behind the like little lip of the door, right. glaring out. Like the ceiling is high above you. You can still see it, although it's 
kind of in very dim light. Although that appears to be a question of the age of the light source more than anything else. Why is this, uh, why is this place so big? Yeah. It fe <laughs> mm, maybe we've actually been shrunk. <laughs> That'd be a twist. And it's just regular size. That'd be a twist. Um, That's exactly the kind of thing the lizard gov uh, government would do. If you... Um, once you gather your courage and look around the corner of the elevator, mm -hmm. you will see that you are in a sort of... almost a warehouse of some kind, but more like a command center. It's basically, it's a big room with a large round table in the middle of it. Which is the only thing that's well lit. Ooh. And you can, uh, you can see the silhouettes and like contours of several monitors and old timey keyboards on the walls. Like, it's, if you ever seen Dr. Strangelove, you know. Yes. Oh, yeah. Kind yeah. like that. Gentlemen, no fighting in the war room. Oh yeah, war room. That's the word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's basically it's it's a war room. Magnats will slowly start walking outside of the elevator and into the war room. Uh, the bullet will follow closely behind. Your footsteps echo in the otherwise empty room, which makes it Magnats feel, is... it makes it feel even more empty. Magnats' mm -hmm. old and like ratty sneakers make squeaky sounds on the ground. Uh, the cleats that uh, the bullet has uh, specifically kept are making a very loud clacking noise as he walks. I got to like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, you appear to be the only people inside this room. At least nothing else is making any noise whatsoever. The air is... Uh, quiet and uh, like still although not as stale as in that other room upstairs magnats will whilst uh staring cautiously all around walk up to the uh, the big old table see if there's anything on there there is oh what on, is it on one side of the table uh which appears to be there for the um, well, whoever is spokesperson for the rest of the table or something. There's a small intercom unit, you know, a little little speaker with a, with a button and a mic. Oh, gotcha. And uh, a number of uh, papers hastily scribbled upon. Ooh, gonna go over there. Gonna read the papers. Papers, for once, are not indecipherable to McNutt. In fact, it, it seems almost familiar. Oh, no. Because these are these are definitely the ramblings of a madman. <laughs> so oh, perfectly yes. logical to Comforting. It's Comforting. It's, it's essentially... It, um, it, it's a speech. It's a speech in progress, but it kind of feels like a speech a supervillain would give to the governments of the world united oh no about like like demanding a million billion dollars or he lasers the ice uh, the, the glaciers away and you know floods the oceans shit like that yeah yeah it's there are a lot of like um uh failed introductions like obviously someone took some time to write this down to get it right but so far mm, hasn't worked I mean, you can't really address them leaders of the world. These days, they're all just corporates. Yes, that was is one problem, as you see when you go through the drafts. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like leaders of the world, leaders of the free worlds, leaders of the states. Leaders of the CEOs of the states? CEOs Corporate of the... Corporate businessmen collected? Mm. <laughs> At, uh, yeah, what would you use? The one... Uh, the, the one... Um, uh, the one intro that seems to have survived the the multiple um, um, drafts uh, starts with 
uh, to the CEO of Aries International. Ooh. So that state, at least if, at least whoever wrote this found a target. And then it just, That's always something. Yeah, then it just evolves into tangents about the um, supposed uh, superiority of the writer, the author. How... Yeah, and probably some something about a tragic backstory, I assume. Uh, started but struck out. Uh, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. With a little note, with a little note to get a compress, compress for time's sake. No one wants to know all this, and they will find <laughs> out. Event, they will find out eventually. Like, they soon, will they find know. out. Just screw they will all know. And uh, then it's just it's it's just a little bullet list of possible demands. At the very top, at the very top, privately uh, it says privately owned, perpetually funded and off-the-grid, state-of-the-art research center. Oh. The rest is more mundane, mostly like, you know, money, women, power, but... His the, subjects. Those appear to be the stuff that can be bargained away in terms of a compromise as long as the research center is still there. Ah. Like, so, someone is trying very hard to do this right. Because you only get one chance at your evil villain speech, surely. Exactly. Yeah, so you gotta, gotta make, make sure it, you do it right. Gotta do it right. Gotta rehearse. Exactly. Other than that, the, the table is empty. Well, Magnus is going to call Roji over saying, No, wait, the intercoms don't work because of all the concrete. Yeah. Too much, interfe too much interference. You could try the you could try the intercom on the table and call Aries. Let not don't do that. It's terrible. <laughs> Let's call Aries. Aries, we have your boy. What boy? Hey Aries, <laughs> it's your boys, McNuts and the Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hosting a radio show now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's nuts and the bullet in the morning. Sound effect. Tire screeching. Explosion. <laughs> Coming at you hard, hot, and ready with sports and mad ramblings. Only the most extreme music. And here's a Imagine Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't your dad's radio station. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're technically his age. Uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, the, the rest of the room is wall to wall covered in old keyboards and screens. None of them appear to be functional hmm. uh, i'll go up to one start hitting the power button a few times oh when that doesn't work it i'll try actually, smacking it no it will actually turn on oh, oh wow yeah they're just they're just offline uh the monitor turns on and uh, displays a little command prompt like the the future the future equivalent of like the C colon backslash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you um shouldn't know in character how any of this works. Because this is like a 40 year old OS that's probably that probably was never released to the public, so Magnat will walk over there, he'll squint at it. He will type out, REVEAL YOUR SECRETS in all caps. <laughs> Command not recognized. <laughs> Thanks for a moment. Mm. Help? Help actually does display a number of commands. Yes! Like, I would have in. gone with, uh, REVEAL YOUR SECRETS TO ME. Please. <laughs> I mean, yes, <laughs> but that's... You didn't program this. You can, if you ever make your own doomsday bunker, you can go that. Go that road, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Help actually displays a number of basic commands like how to access a, a directory, how to look for file names, etc., etc. It's mm. all, it's all very archaic but understandable. Magnus will try and see if he can make it display the most recent be opened file. Yes, you can actually. Nice. He's gonna do that. The file displays um, uh, 
not not a blueprint um a technic uh displays a technical readout of the kill satellite in orbit Ooh. it's all very what's it say more numbers it basically just lists the technical data of the thing like the amount of firepower it has uh hints a ton you are uh while reading this you uh, you don't get most of it but you get the gist of it like you know yeah. for a fact that this thing could level seattle all right it wouldn't even need to like hit anything in particular just near the city would do it is it online or offline it is online oh you also see um like uh, th there is a status report basically and it says salvage attempt not feasible cost prohibitive uh object will remain in orbit for the next uh four to five decades until um forceful re-entry and um well what's the and uh no what's the word um uh burning up in the atmosphere ring <laughs> uh, yeah yeah I, I know what you mean uh and atmospheric and, combustion. Yeah, destruction due to atmospheric. I mean, I've always just, yeah, I've always just heard like burning up and reentry. Yeah. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, that technical readout is about forty years old, so another ten years or so, and it definitely will fall back to Earth and be gone. That's when its fuel runs out for course corrections. Ah. Uh... We only have 10 years to get this thing down <laughs> before no, it comes down on its own. No, if you wait 10 years, it's going down. Yeah. You only have 10 years to use it if you want to. You should. Well, why would we want to use it? I don't know. I don't. I, I can't get in the mind of Magna. That's God's job. Wait. 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 If I can finally put my theory of where the lizard people are hiding into usage... I can finally get them, those bastards. You know. The government shall no longer be ruled by that shadow, uh, by that shadowy force beyond our powers. Well, that's just Wait, silly. I thought you wanted to put it uh, in charge of the lizard men instead of these shadowy powers beyond our comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see that, codes? It's even worse than I thought. Exactly. They know about the squirrels. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, not the squirrels. Yes, the squirrels. The bullet, the squirrels. Jesus Christ. You were the one who wanted us to make insane hobo characters. I know, you're very good at it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find my other notes. I can't I think it's the squirrels who uh God, or I think it was a blackmail from the squirrels that had Coach fire me right before the big game, too. <laughs> Telling you, I would have won that one for us. You absolutely would, you beautiful bastard, the bullet. I'm those dead. those rat bastards. Those No, those squirrels. No, 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 no. I'm on good terms with the rats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Rats are great. We all love rats here. Gonna kiss my rat. Yes. Mwah. But the squirrels, the squirrels are the reason why you, uh, why you're here. The reason why that. Yeah, you had a lot of money riding on that game. You had to be sure. Exactly. Uh, everyone else on my team was ready to take the dive, but I wasn't. I'd never take a dive. <laughs> but the squirrels more... made you. <laughs> There's one more thing. On it got me off the team. <laughs> one more thing on that readout, if you, you know, are not salivating yes. about lizard people. Yes, we, uh, we moved on to rodent conspiracies. There's one more thing on the readout. Basically, that uh, emergency protocol, um, Peterson, uh, the Pearson approach. It doesn't oh. say what that what that means. It just says that's the emergency protocol that will be enacted in case something happens, like an attack on the Ooh. satellite itself. Who is this person? And why must it be a person approach? Mm. No, wait, that's two S's. 
Persson. It is, yes. P E R S S O N. Who is this person and why are we approaching him? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Pers- or, uh, person approaches? Well, I sure hope you do. <laughs> Road work ahead? <laughs> I sure hope it do. <laughs> you also see that the file was last accessed uh, less than a week ago. Oh. McNutt will go back to the help screen and type in person. Or person, as it were. It gives you a list of files, like a hiring timeline, portfolio, etc., etc. He will refine his search. Person approach. That gives you a warning. Oh. The file, like this file, is the. Uh, Fuck, not ingredients. The, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really tired today. But this file is need to know basis only? Kinda, yeah. The, um... Classified? No, the, That's the, only the, going to encourage him! The, the... <sighs> Content! That's the word. So yeah. I'm thinking ingredients, like it's a, <laughs> a recipe. The, the contents of this file are top secret and on a need to know basis. Like, please make sure you have the proper authority and the proper, um, you know, uh, direct order to view it. Magnus immediately clicks it. Like, the moment he's, he sees classified, he's practically on fire. He clicks it immediately and just ogles it. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we got here. The file is very much 40 years old and starts with... Uh, Sorry, that was my alarm going off. Um, uh, honored CEO slash emperor slash president slash person in charge. <laughs> and it's basically just, it starts mm, with like yes. it starts with a small list of like um, uh, boss man terms, kinda, and like little edits just in like uh, depending on cause of apocalypse, go to chapter so and so. Nice. Oh, so it's a choose your own adventure book? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The, uh, the outline, though, when you look further down, the person approach um, basically states that in case the satellite is attacked with direct force and without the proper authorization or entry of password, it will immediately unload it and its entire... Um, uh, ammunition into whatever is below it. That's not good. Regardless of military um, ah, fuck me. Ah, 30 degrees. <laughs> 30 degrees in, 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 um, regardless, <laughs> of, regardless of military like uh, importance or priority. Oh fuck. Basically, it's very much designed in a way that whoever is trying to take that thing down will probably do a lot more damage than it's worth. Unless Magnus is fervently taking notes. Yeah. Unless you time hmm. it right. It also says that in the most dire circumstances, assuming the satellite is more or less above a target area that you want to hit, you can trigger the person approach um, by um, fuck me. What self destructing? Not self destructing. You can you can trigger it as a last resort. As a last resort. It's basically a fuck you attack. If everything nice. else is lost. It also says this is not recommended. Unless, of course, you're in uh, Chapter 32B, Rise of the uh, Mutant Red People. <laughs> if the Mutant Red People took over Earth, you're allowed to just use the satellite wherever on whatever. It's fine. 
You're Those dead. bastards. Like, they never appreciated a good rap. Yeah. Everyone's dead anyway, so just go nuts. <laughs> So Magnat takes and Magnat takes all of the fucking notes, writes it down on the little propaganda pamphlet that he grabbed, one of the many. Man, it does come in handy. Yeah. Yeah, they really have. And when he's done writing that down, he is going to He's going to see if he can get like a current readout on the satellite. Like real time? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Is it more or less the same as the file that he just uh, that he just perused? Nothing much has changed except that the um, amount of fuel is much lower. Oh. Estimated lifetime, five to six years. Oop. It apparently also got hit by several micrometeorites over the last decades. It's fine. Yeah. I'm sure it still works. It is fucking impressive that it hasn't unloaded its entire goddamn arsenal because of those micrometeors. Well, here's the thing. What you see... <laughs> when you look at the readout of that thing, it is made to last. This is like... Uh, it's like someone shot a concrete bunker into space. Like, people didn't care for the casting. It just had to... But since, since it will burn, uh, burn up in the atmosphere upon re-entry... Does that mean that it'll unload the entire arsenal as it does those as it does so because it'll no. uh, register it as an attack? No. Okay, so we're not in any sort of when the fuel immediate comes, danger. If the fuel yeah. runs out, that's it. Okay. It can't I mean, I assume that uh, Ares figured they'd be using it bef well before, or using up its arsenal well before it ran out of fuel. Yes. If, uh, the readout basically states that salvaging it or even repairing it, given its age, was just not... It was cost prohibitive. Might as well just wait until it falls down on its own, even if it takes, like, 30, 40 years. That doesn't cost you anything. Well, well, well. Yeah. And now some uh, some crazy motherfucker calling himself CRISPR is is like taking control of that of that thing and trying to hold the government hostage. Well, or like the super to at least. hostage. Well, you know, government Aries. In terms of Seattle, not that much difference. I mean, in exactly. terms of the UCAS, it's it it's the same thing. Yeah. Man, that would that would have been a great story twist. Chris, Chris <laughs> trying to like force Ares into giving in his demands and Ares just aiming the thing remotely at like fucking California or some shit. <laughs> Pull the trigger. <laughs> we don't care. In fact, we'll do it for you. Boop. Oh yeah. Or like like uh, not California but like Florida. <laughs> no more Florida man stories. Oh man. That would have been a boon for the Shadowrun world. Yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> Like California, at least it's just there. It just gets conquered every now and then. But Florida, yeah, oh, yeah, God. it just changes hands every once in a while. Yeah, in 2077, do the in 2072, do the Chinese have it? I don't, I forgot. Well, I know Japan too. holds a portion of it. Oh. Uh, I think some of, uh, or uh, yeah, I think they hold San Francisco. Uh, Atlasen uh, also has owns parts of it. It's probably fine. I think uh, Tier Tirana or oh, the yeah. Elven Ethno the Elven Ethno State in Washington it's also probably, has like parts of Northern yeah, California it's, too. It's, it's probably a fine fine land to live on, surely. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, no. What what's important here is that Seattle is at stake and not some other unimportant part of the former U.S. Obviously. So yeah. Uh, so in. Uh, what else is there left to do at this uh, at this place? You could combine every inventory item with every other inventory item. Yes, absolutely, and I rub the rat on everything. Yes. You get a lot. As of, you should. You get a lot of overlapping. This doesn't work that way. 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 <laughs> Damn it! The rat also gets very angry. As he is wont to do, he is a coke rat. Like not, 
And Magnat shoves the rat ill-temperedly back into his pocket, having sustained quite a few nibbles. <laughs> using, rat so, on, well, using rat on old computer didn't really yield any results, weirdly enough. Damn, I was really having my hopes up on that one. Yeah, right. Exactly. I mean, it did look like for a moment the rat was trying to type out something, but then it just became a whole lot of Fs. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Maybe uh, so, in here we should, or in the files, we should also search up CRISPR. Yeah, yeah, good idea. They search up CRISPR. No result. Damn. Mm. Uh, okay, I try to find a backwards R uh, character. <laughs> no, no. You don't even know how to type that in. Crispy R. You don't know, you don't know the alt code for the backwards R. Damn. <laughs> mm. Hmm. And there's nothing else in the room? Well, no, there are more monitors and more keyboards and stuff. But presumably, I'm gonna... it's the same thing. I uh, may as well turn yeah. on one or two of the other monitors just to double check. Yeah, they show the same thing. Alrighty. They're just multiple mm. workstations, but they have all the same data on them and stuff. Yeah, something like that. So, do we continue further into the bunker? Yes. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Having exhausted our uh, uh, options in the war room, we decide to go back to the elevator and try the last remaining floor. What's behind door number two? What's behind floor number two? It's a brand new car! <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, you go in the elevator, you ride up about a minute. The door dings, opens. More hallways. Normal ones this time. Hmm. Though these ones seem to be more... Um, mm, what do I say? More science -y. Ah. One thing, everything seems to be color coded. Presumably by either branch or project. Interesting. Time to see what's behind all of the color coded doors. They start with the red one. Yeah, there are also colored arrows on the on the floors. Ooh, very medicinal. Yeah. I assume we're going to go in our order of Roy G. Biv. Absolutely. Of what the only now? proper order. Of what now? Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, oh. green, blue, indigo, violet. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can. We do... Are you just opening hey. doors at random, or...? No, not random at I all. I have a color order. Okay. Yeah. Well, you find, in order, a storage room. With uh, empty beakers and lots of glassware. And, you so know, that was red? Yeah, and a few brooms. In case you break the glassware. A, uh, what appears to be a sort of surgery room. It has, it has a little operating table and like an area for testing, apparently. Is there any remaining viscera left in this room? No, it appears to be completely unused. Damn. Magnus is going to steal a scalpel. Yeah, those are in there. Still. Never have enough of them. They, yeah, there are lots of scalpels and like surgical instruments all sealed in little plastic tubes. Ooh. All almost as new as on the day they were made, presumably 40, 50 years ago. 
Knabs has a lot of pockets. He's going to take a few scalpels and also some empty, uh, empty medical syringes. Yeah, I'm taking scalpels as well. <laughs> it's a good idea. Without even saying anything against that. Um, yeah. You then find a um, what appears to be a wake-up room for after surgery. It's directly mm -hmm. next to it, next to the the, um, the surgical theater. A couple of empty beds, but a lot more spacey Anything? than the bunk bed version you saw earlier. Oh. Nothing to steal in there. Anything interesting want... here? No, nothing to steal unless you want to take a bed frame. I suddenly kind of want to take a bed frame. <laughs> might be, God damn it. Might be a bit hard to carry around with you. I'm not stopping you, mind you. Yeah, I'm not going to. You also notice the, like the same cheap copied motel pictures on the wall. Again, Magnus does the "I'm watching you" thing. And then he frowns, and he goes over to it, and he takes it down. <laughs> you hold in your hands a uh, copied to shit version of the screen. He looks up at the wall. Did it cover anything? No. He looks down at it. He shakes it. Rel relinquish your your secrets, infernal painting. <laughs> the silent, the silent person. The, on the silence is deafening. Keeps screaming a wordless scream into the void. <sighs> he growls angrily Rah! and s smashes it on his knee, and he regrets it because that hurt. And just puts it down instead. Well, it broke though. Still works. Magnus, Magnus limps out. We're all very proud of you. On to the next room. <laughs> the next room appears to be a cafeteria. That would be green, right? Uh, I guess so. I mean, right. if it's the second, it would be orange. Gotta be honest, the colors are kind of random in my mind, so whatever. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't write it down. All right. Cafeteria. Time to find the beans. Yeah, let's see if we can find them beans. Well, there, beans, is beans, a, beans, beans. there is a big cooking area with like a bunch of metal, um, metal pots for a bunch of people to feed at the same time. And the cooking area also has a storage area attached to it. Big we go in there. Well, you go in there and you find a lot of uh, cans. We find Perfect. any beans? Probably. In fact, yeah, definitely you find some beans in there. We grab as many beans as we can carry. Beans, like... canned meat as well, are you, whatever. Are you actually looking at the expiration date on any of them? Of course not. Canned course beans not. don't expire. They, do. they totally do. No, they don't. Well, don't. And if they do, now they're not beans anymore. They're smoke bombs. Well, don't forget to pick the, pick the cans that are kind of a bit bulged up. Those are the best. Obviously, that's they have the most flavor. Yeah, that's how you know the yeah. are done. You can't be taken to Flavor Town without a bang. Anyway, you find a, well, like a storage room full of canned food of all varieties. So, you know, pick whatever the fuck you want. Mind you, it is like four decades old. Probably older, in fact, because these are army rations. So they probably Perfect. Went, they went in there 20 years out of date already. Magnus has had worse and also older. Yeah, probably. It'll be fine. Magnus. These beans are so old, they can vote. That's how you know they're ready. Exactly. Magnus' rat is very apprehensive in terms of the old food. Just a little sniff in the air and just dives back into the pocket. 
Maybe let's sure. crack open a can of beans. Yeah. So, how Ooh. do the beans smell when I crack one open? Good question. Uh, how would 40 year old beans smell? I assume not good. Maybe I assume very beany. Very beany. Well, they smell. Um... Okay, to the bullet and his magnificent body in prime condition, the beans smell perfectly fine just like any other bean you know like nothing oh my god the yeah bullet, the bullet lost his sense of smell years ago when he sold his oh nose. yeah yeah he had to sell that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to sell part of his nose yeah so what about so what about two mac nuts that's i don't know actually does mac nuts have normal senses or does it all get warped mac nuts smoked so long in the, the in the goddamn uh, in uh, on the force that he lost all sense of taste and all sense of smell. He's still smoking. He's got like two cigarettes in his mouth right now. <laughs> well, McNutt thinks the beans smell like cigarettes somehow, which isn't the worst sign. <laughs> so okay. what about McNutt's rat? The rat has fled into the depths of the pocket, tries desperately not to smell anything. Hmm. The rat doesn't More like the smell me. of that. More you for go me. ahead, you and five, buddy. We should. I go. will. Uh... I should note that the, if you look into the can, it still looks like beans, like a kind of. Yeah, good red, enough for me. Kind of reddish brown color, um, something that appears to be liquid of some sort. Does anything move? Not as far as you can see, no. Oh, good. Maybe you should. That means they're still good. Maybe you should try and like empty them out in something. I'll uh, reach in with my, uh, or I'll reach in and pull a single bean out. I'll look closely at it. Does it look like a bean? It does look like a bean. However, when you try to pull one out, the entire ingredient of the, of the can comes with it. And you essentially have a can-shaped mass of what was once beans in your hand now. Hmm, convenient. <laughs> what will those boys at Aries think of next? It feels, <laughs> it feels like, 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 a, like a very big gummy bear. It's a gelatin. Gee, like, be like Peter Ed can die. I'm going to start nibbling on the mass of bean. Good lord, that can't be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you sink your teeth into it, it very easily gives way. A bit too easily, maybe. Uh, there are some crunchy bits. That's probably a good sign. Hmm, yes. Yeah. The crunch. And it's important. Everyone knows a good bean has to have a bit of... Has to have a nice snap to it. A bit of crunch in it. God damn it. it. has to be crispy. I mean, you, you don't immediately convulse in pain and die, so... That's impressive. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. I'll just keep uh, nibbling on a little bit. Nothing happens immediately, so, you know. Food poisoning will take a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to worry about it later. I have it pumped out before it goes that far. It's fine. Also, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm starting to get real sleepy. Oh. Oof. Okay. That's... So we might want uh, uh, to... Sleep wanna... is illegal, though. It is, actually. I know. And I am a criminal. Okay, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. We can uh, hopefully get the others in it eventually again. And they do the Hell big yeah. reveal. For now, well, you can, for now, you can spend your time eating ancient beans and presumably barfing them out again. 
Oh, they'll be coming out of both ends. I can tell you that much. If you get lucky, Obviously. If you get lucky, they only come out of two ends. What other end could they be coming out of? You don't want to know. You might find out, but you don't want to know. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm crying beans, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> I just That's blew my a... nose and all that I saw in the tissue was bean. <laughs> Scratch your head, beans fall out. <laughs> like Dan drop. Okay. No, it's fine. You uh you uh get your, your strength back by eating food, quote unquote. Mm, <laughs> yes. Gotta get that protein. While Kevin and the Doc largest Ripper, possible definition of food. Yeah, while Kevin and Doc Ripper make their way back and hopefully towards you, and they will find you if and when we get back together again. Uh, until then, I would say we like just pause here. Yeah, good idea. Pause. Yeah. So say bye. 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 -bye. Remember, kids, don't do math. <laughs> Remember, kids, do uh, stay in drugs, don't do school. <laughs>